Hi everyone, it's Dr. Pham again. Today we're going to talk about penile cordy. This is another educational video brought to you by famurology.com. So before we understand cordy, let's talk about normal anatomical appearance of the penis. So normally the penis looks something like this. Usually the penis consists of two cylinders. And in the middle of the cylinder is a pee channel. And this is where the urine comes out of. And then you have your scrotum. And then your scrotum is two testicles. Now, cordy is a condition in which the penis is curved. Why it's curved from a genetic standpoint, we're not really sure. But typically, the reason why it's curved is one side of the corpora or the cylinder is usually shorter than the other side. And if you can imagine what end up happening with that is because one side of the cylinder is shorter than the other. So here you have the two cylinders, cylinder one and cylinder two. And then we have our scrotum again. And then we have a little testicle. And then we have our penis. Well, if you can imagine, because one cylinder is shorter than the other, what end up happening is you have a deflection that goes this way. And usually what we do is we measure the angle that's usually right here. And traditionally, if the angle is greater than 30 degrees, that typically may lead to issues such as urinary deflection, it goes that way instead of straight up and down. And basically with insertion of the penis at some point later down the road, if you can imagine if it's not straight, it can cause some issues. So typically, if it's 30 degrees or more, we tend to fix it. Now the simplest way to fix it is the skin on the penis can actually be degloved like a banana. And once I actually deglove the penis, what I actually do is we put a stitch here and a stitch here that will then cause shortening of the cylinder or what we call the corpora on one side. And by doing that, it causes everything to be straight again. Now, sometimes the curvature is so great that just putting one or two stitch won't work. When that happens, what we actually do is we actually will cut a piece of the corpora out and then we can replace it with multiple uh, material. One is like pericardium. And what that does is it does the same effect as the stitch However, it pulls this whole thing down and then we just um, leave a little graft or we actually can just connect point A to point B. And in essence, what that does is it then creates a penis that now is even. And then we have our testicle here. excuse me, the scrotum, and then we have a testicle here, and then we have the corpora. And that's the gist of how we fix cordy. Now, the recovery takes about seven weeks. In terms of pain, it just depends on the age of the child. I fix a lot of these, and rarely do I ever have to fix one. Now, in terms of the stitch, we typically do use permanent stitches. 
And we do that because we keep the stitches there and then it heals over that stitch and then it stays like that. When you're young, sometimes you can feel the stitch a little bit, but then as time goes by, the stitch will be covered and then you won't feel it at all. And then the child will uh, grow up normally, the penis will develop normally. Um, sometimes I may or may not leave a dressing. There's no stitches that needs to be removed, everything will be dissolved. And typically I will put a piece of glue on it, something what we call Dermabond, and what that does is it keeps the incision clean, prevent bleeding, and allows the child to bathe with no issues. Once a surgery is done, typically I will see them back in about six weeks to make sure everything is perfect. So if your child's been diagnosed with CORD and you want to come get a second opinion, give us a call and see if um, what we do is what your surgeon would do or it would be something else. Now keep in mind that the curvature can be up. Now if it's up and it's less than 30 degrees, we typically leave that alone. Now if it's down, which a lot of time it can occur in isolation or with hypospadia, those we tend to fix. And if the penis curvature is either left or right in 30 degrees, then typically those we will also fix. If you want to know more about this, make an appointment with me and we can go into details about this. Keep in mind this is just a general overview of Cordy. Once again, thank you for listening to the video.